We send our thoughts and prayers with Logan Paul. Man, it's not even like two weeks into the year, man. It's, Bro. It's rough already. Bro. Rough. 11 days and Logan Paul been going through it. So if you don't know what's going on, let me put you on. CoffeeZilla exposed Logan Paul for having a crypto game called CryptoZoo. And then, you know, what he actually did was scam all of his fans. So when that came out, Logan Paul made a whole video, seven minute video, trying to, you know, saying that he's suing Coffee Zilla and all that but then he took all that back you know that he said he's gonna apologize and make a third video but while people are waiting for that third video another controversy came on Logan Paul and that's about his pig a pig as a, a pet pig, like bacon <laughs> 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 so apparently Logan Paul bought a pig, but then he had to move to Puerto Rico. So then he gave a pig to somebody else. But we're gonna get the whole full story right here from Philip DeFranco. And he's gonna explain the whole situation better than I can. Curious and calling Logan Paul a heartless abuser right now. And I have to say, it's genuinely impressive how many controversies he's found himself in in just the last three weeks. There was the religion stuff, the NFT scam allegations, he was threatening a creator with a lawsuit, then he pulled back, and now we have Pearl. Because this newest controversy five. starts with a TikTok from an animal sanctuary. Five controversies in 11 days. One, we did not even talk about the religion <laughs> one. <laughs> Logan Paul, you know I'm bad, bro. Three in California called the Gentle Barn. And then they say they got a call about an abandoned pig in a field that they found this pig alongside another pig who was just dead. They note the pig they rescued is named Pearl, that she was in bad shape when they found her. Very notably saying they were told she was owned by a YouTuber and was later irresponsibly rehomed, but is now doing better in their care. But adding the details, she came to us with tattered ears and a potentially life-threatening infection in her uterus that has since been healed. She's clearly been through so much trauma that we can't begin to imagine. And saying it's believed she was purchased originally from a breeder by an influencer. And noting people often buy mini pigs or teacup pigs for clout online, believing they'll stay small but noting when they inevitably grow very large and have very unexpected needs, they're sadly discarded. But a happy no. ending, adding that she'll have a happier life at the gentle barn. Well, they never specifically named Logan Paul in that video. Tons of people speculated, hey, that's the pig. Same name, same look. And so immediately people started calling him out. And people were absolutely furious, including the likes of Ethan Klein saying, okay, now we can all agree. Fuck Logan, Logan Paul. Paul. <laughs> Others saying things like, all that money you can't find the pet you committed to, a loving home. You used Pearl for likes and views. I guess you got your fame, so you're good, right? You greedy, scamming, lying, piece of trash human being. Nah, truly doesn't deserve 50. an ounce of what you have. And people who abandon animals, but especially those who abandon them because they don't fit their aesthetics, deserve a special place in hell. And others even going on to say oh, specifically damn. that Logan is still responsible for this, even if he wasn't the one who actually abandoned Pearl. Right? If he gave it to someone else who then they put Pearl in this position, it's still on him. Saying, yeah, it's possible he rehomed Pearl and the new owner abandoned her, but that in itself could have been avoided if Logan Paul properly researched many pigs or damn. accepted the situation and gave Pearl damn. the forever home she deserves. And to that point, you had the likes of fellow creator Corinna Kopp tweeting the Logan quote, this nigga talk kind of fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that boy don't breathe. Damn, that that's five controversies in 11 days, Logan Paul. And it all started because of CoffeeZilla. I ain't gonna lie. CoffeeZilla started the whole domino effect. Has a pretty bad track record of getting animals and then rehoming them, saying this isn't the first time either. But as for this situation with Pearl, TMZ obtained an email that Logan allegedly sent to the gentle barn, thanking them for saving her. With Logan allegedly saying in that email that Pearl lived with him in Encino for two years and that she was treated like a princess, but saying when he moved to Puerto Rico in 2020, he couldn't bring her, so she was rehomed to a horse ranch in Santa Clarita. And saying that from his understanding, she had lived a good life there for 10 months until the owner moved and rehomed Pearl to the farmer across the street. With Logan adding, I've heard that he called your organization to pick her up. It's shocking and heartbreaking to hear the state she was found. I wanted to reach out personally and say thank you for taking her in. Also telling the gentle barn that he would love to send a token of his gratitude for saving Pearl and asking them if he can contribute to her care or do anything to support the organization. But even with that, we still see the backlash rolling in, especially since in 2019, Logan posted a video saying that he got a second pig, so people are worried about that pig as well. Logan has been more to address this controversy. <laughs> why, why are people getting pigs as pets? Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. She had the pig first. I thought she had the pig first. Yeah, she had the pig. And then she was showing it off. And I feel like everybody said, I'm gonna get a pig too! Miley Cyrus is a country chick, bro. She was raised up. Yeah, this is what she does. This is exactly what she do. Don't get a pig because of her, please. If you want a pig, get a guinea pig. Small shit. Mm -hmm. Nah, Shake Top, me just showed people a bunch of weird ass animals that they think is so cute. Nah. Oh my god, it's so cute. I want a ferret. Say what? The little monkeys. The little monkeys. They be jumping out with diapers on them. The worst ones are the snake owners. Oh my god. They be wild, bro. You can't pet a snake. Like, what? How, how do you. 
I seen the raccoon one. Oh, we had a pet raccoon. Bro. Well, yeah, surprisingly, you could dom- domesticate them. Certain <laughs> raccoons, like they could, they could actually be pets. That's really crazy. Get the yeah. man. I see the chewing, bro. <laughs> and not, not to mention the duck lady in New York. She should be ashamed to be in New York. This <laughs> duck, there's a big duck. Remember the one that be walking the duck? She got the pet duck. Oh, uh, <laughs> I kid you <laughs> not. Uh, off top, I mean, it's on the topic, but mm-hmm. I was at work and like we were walking through the park. And I kid you not, I saw a woman walking a turtle. But I'm like, I'm telling you, like, the turtle was the size, like, maybe half, half of this one. Walking a turtle. I kid you not. Walking a turtle. So she had, like, a, a leash? A leash on the turtle. Bruh. No. That turtle could put his neck in real quick. <laughs> Hiding what we saw in that email, then also claiming that the farmer who called the sanctuary denies that there was a second pig found, saying it was just pearls, so now we're getting conflicting information that's getting added to the mix now. And so with all of that taken into consideration, I want to pass the question off to you. Let me know your thoughts around this story in those comments down below. Are you in the fuck Logan Paul camp? Are you in the, you know what, it's not really his fault, he tried to rehome responsibly, or maybe you're landing somewhere in the middle. Any and all thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in those comments down below. But for me personally, this feels like, it's like a weird social comment. experiment. What's the comment, bro? What comment? Is, I think y'all are too invested in what people do in their lives. Like, y'all, y'all don't know, like, I'm not vouching for him, but at the same time, like, you know, like, you don't know, like, the circumstances or whatever, but, like, y'all so quick to do that, thing. but what are y'all doing? Like, are y'all, are y'all giving donations, like, going out to these things, going mm. to but y'all don't be the first one to just... Nah, honestly, it's been fuck Logan Paul. I ain't gonna lie, but for this one, it's not his fault, really. Like, you can't really blame him for that one. He did relocate them. It's the second family we gotta put the blame on for giving it to another family, and then gotta blame that second family for just leaving them out on the on the side of the road. Let's say you, know? like, you could. I feel like you can see that he's a bit remorseful about it. Because, you yeah. know, if he if he didn't care, he would have just let it be and not say anything. But the fact exactly. that, you know, he sent an email and, like, also saying, like, how can he help and whatnot. It's, it's only because it's Logan it's Paul. Cause it's, it's, it's only because when it's somebody who has some type of status and influence that they yeah. start caring mm-hmm. about these things. Like, remember the chick yeah. with the, I mean, I know a lot. Some of them, they do need to get their pets taken away. I know from like, the oh, chick yeah. with the dog. I forgot her name, but she went viral because she was beating her dog up mm-hmm. on YouTube. I don't get out from somebody. Me, somebody reported. And then there's a streamer with the cat when she do it. Do it. Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. Bro. Yo, so. Like, what? Yo. Through the cat. Through the cat. That was the last name. I was like, oh my god, the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Paul, you doing bad this year, brother. Yeah, yeah, bro. Honestly, some milk, honestly just oh. start 2023 in February. It'll be this bad. Just December. <laughs> <It's> in, you, <laughs> you still in December because ain't no way this happening to you, bro. I feel bad, Remember, I feel bad for this man because he went from his hated arc with the whole with the, you know, with the with Japan. Japan. Yeah, Japan. He, he went from that. Then he had his redemption arc. Everybody was like, okay. Now it's like, I got it. Square one, bro. Yeah. And it's been a five years. Y'all seen, I don't know if this was real or not, but I seen a meme where he tweeted, The Matrix is real. Don't let yeah, it be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah somebody like, said, The Matrix is real. Don't, 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 don't get down again. I'm just like that. Somebody said, The Matrix ain't after you. You were just <laughs> stupid. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he is stupid, bro. Like, the whole crypto zoo thing, bro just had to apologize. It's okay, like, you were trying new things. He tried the big throwing coin and fail, and then the only um crypto thing that he actually did that actually was successful was his 99 originals, yeah. where he went around the world and he took Polaroid pictures. Like, that was really successful. So just say, bro, you experimenting, you know, crypto, bro. Like, this is Web3, like, this shit is new. So just be like, yo, listen, I'll, I'm just trying out projects to see which one works so that I could stick to it. Everybody that invested, I'm gonna give y'all your money back. That's what people wanna hear, bro. I'm gonna give y'all your money back, yeah, and then that's it. Down, then that's it. Down, then that's it. <laughs> bro, he was projected to make 142 million of Sheesh. that project. He made 42 million, and he was still crying. Imagine making 42 million cry. And he when was crying. And you're already a multi-millionaire, bro. Like, hey, Logan, but I hope you learn from from all this, please. Like, you're in five controversies already. Toughen up, bro. I know his PR team is tight. His PR team is like, yo, get into more, more, bro. You gonna be fighting? <laughs> <laughs> his PR team is like. They wake up every morning. Ah, what's now? I would hate to be there right now, man. But hey, look, we're in the room to pop on yourself. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And if you want any update on any other videos, click this video right here. I promise you enjoy it.